Yo, I was going to say, uh, growing up, um, Robotech used to be one of my favorite cartoons, yeah, from back in the day. And it was only, like, way later that I realized that, um, that it was based off of Macross and that Robotech was actually uh, three different anime stitched together. Um, you know, SDF Macross, um, SDF, like, Southern Cross, and Genesis Climber, uh, Genesis Climber Mosquita. But they were all drawn by uh, Studio Nue, and so the art style was the same, and so it was conceivable that they were part of just one universe. And uh, Carl Masek, I mean, like, I know the fandom's divided and stuff like that. Carl Masek, uh, rest in peace, um, he put together... You know, that story, I, I believe he put the, he put them together because they needed to meet like an episode requirement or something like that. And, uh, I, you know, I've, I've seen both and, uh, you know, I, I like both. I love both, actually, you know, uh, but Robotech is something I grew up with and Macross is something I had later on. And so, um, uh, yeah, there's space in my heart for both of them. But uh, the reason I'm saying that is this right here is a Gerwalk um, in Macross um, in Guardian mode in Robotech. And, um, yeah, anytime, anytime there's, there's a jet transform, I'm like, yeah, I gotta try to make a, give him a Gerwalk mode. And, uh, this one, you know, I was able to start with needle nose and uh, obviously it was needle nose and cog. Did I say that already? Yeah. Um, I'm super parched right now. Um, uh, by the way, I'm recording this video right after the, the other video, the, the Skywarp one. And, uh, if you didn't watch that one, it's like, yeah, I'm still at work right now. And like, I'm feeling really, really funny. Um, I'm fine. I feel fine. I feel very, very pleasant, but uh, I, I, I don't feel normal. Yeah. And the only thing that I can think of that I eat different than what I normally do is there are these exotic chocolates that are like truffle chocolates and stuff that we got from one of our marketing partners. And um, that's the only weird thing that I ate. And I don't know if I'm having some allergic reaction or something like that, but I definitely feel, um, I definitely feel weird. Yeah. But weird in a good way. The best I could describe it is like, Feels like I drank too much alcohol or something, but not not like that at all. Yeah, not like that at all. Anyway, anyway. So, yeah, Gerwalk mode over here with uh, Needle Nose and Cog. And so when I first came about this mode, um, you know, I was able to angle the arms in a certain way and I was able to get the legs in a certain way, but he couldn't stand. Uh, you can see, like, the feet are right over here. So unless I got, like, a Figma stand... And that's how it's going to be. But I was like, no, dude, we got to do something. And the blue on needle nose, you know, matches and the red and stuff also matches really, really well with one. And oh, I got to burp. Dude, I think it's almost guaranteed that every video I'm going to burp, <laughs> uh, but you just never hear it. Um, but yeah. So um, what was I talking about? Yeah. So, so I had just done the spider build, right? Using cog and I knew they played well together. And so I pulled out cog and I was like, Hmm. And then, so, this part I envision being the fast pack, you know, the super pack from Robotech. And so um, it's not bad. And this kind of looks like the tail part flipped over like you would see on Jetfire, the Valkyrie. And so this is very believable for me. And I like this a lot. Um, and so I had these parts and I was like, OK. And I just popped it onto his foot. I wasn't really thinking about what I was going to do. And uh, it doesn't work the other way. I, I wanted the red to be in the front, I could, but it it doesn't have a hinge. So it would just be facing like. Just imagine the spinning around. It'd be pointing up. But when I flipped it around, this part is very, very maneuverable. And so I was able to, you know, get this really great mode. And then, but I could still see the kind of fist and it was throwing me off. And then I realized like, oh, I haven't used the guns. And once I put the guns on like that, that's a really, really nice perspective. You know, that looks really nice. I mean, I could still see the fist here, but that's fine. That's fine. And this right here, the, the traditional Gerwalk mode the pose, the, the perspective, this is all really, really nice, you know? And so, um, yeah, thank you really so much, uh, to these guys, like really, really appreciate it, uh, coming together and working together like this. Um, so this right over here, this is just cog and his legs plugged into his side. So we're just going to move that. And here he has his, um, two guns plugged in, but you notice this guy's holding the fin, because that fin is supposed to be over here. So you need to remove that to plug in the um, this bit. All right. So I'm just going to move the legs down. So the arms, as part of transformation, like... Uh, hold on for a second. Yeah, this is where the head is. You normally would have this like this. You know, it would be all in there, right side up. But you're, you're just letting that droop down because you need these arms to be as as forward as possible uh because it needs to do the girl walk mode and in terms of the legs dude look how easy this is this is just him bending the knee like this and then you just angle it outward easy peas right 
and then you just plug in the guns underneath or, or the arms rather and then you just kind of fiddle around with the fit and finish let's get her all cleaned up and there's a hinge over here so you could even like get in these deep gerwalk modes you know so that's kind of cool too lots of lots of great fun fun things about this build and so i'm a fan like i'm a fan and i hope you, you're a fan because these guys really went out of their way uh to help us kind of see this um and to come together like this and so i'm 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 deeply in appreciation and i know a lot of people are too so um yeah this is really just so cool this is just really really so cool uh, you know, like, I mean, you probably guessed it, but dude, making these fan modes and stuff is one of my favorite, probably, probably is my favorite thing to do or, or my favorite hobby. I should say, uh, I have other hobbies too. Um, but like, dude, I love spending time doing this. I love coming up with new things and getting all excited to share it with y'all. And also like, you know, when some of y'all tell me like, Oh, I built your thing at home and it's on my shelf. Like, Oh dude, that's super humbling. That's super nice. It's like, hey, I, I made you cherry pie recipe. Like, we had it last night. It was really, really good. I'm like, oh, my God. That's, oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Um, <laughs> like I said, dude, I'm feeling weird. I'm still feeling weird. I I don't know. I'm definitely feeling weird. And you, I don't know. I, I, I'm going to have to watch these videos later, and maybe you'll be able to tell. But doesn't something seem kind of off or on? Uh, depends on how you look at it. Like, and I'm referring to myself, yeah, yeah. By the way, I hope I explained this well enough. I feel like maybe now looking back, I was kind of simplifying some things, but um, looks good. And then you can attach the the what is it, the blast effects and stuff. And nice, nice. All right, I'll put him in that pose right on uh, that one. No, this is kind of good. This is kind of good. All right, gang. I appreciate y'all watching. Um, Oh, yeah, that thing about eight minutes on the video. So who's down to stay here another, like, 50 seconds? Dude, I'll try to, um, how about I tell you a joke, dude? I'll tell you a joke. Um, what did the, what did the turkey say to the chicken? Give up? It said, because that's how they sound. <laughs> All right, that was bad. That was pretty bad. Um, what do you call a bear with no teeth? gummy bear you know that's good you know that's good and hey, what do you call a pig who knows karate pork chop <laughs> my brother and i were cracking up at that word we dying dude uh but um that's all i got right now and i know those because uh, i was uh, retelling those jokes to my nieces and stuff and so that's why they're kind of fresh in my head but thanks for helping you get to eight minutes my friends i will talk to you again and we will come back and bot bend hey and make a new trend hey bad broken things we will mend hey and this is the end hey see ya